So I wanted to show another holster here. This is for the HK VP9. Uh, this is from Hunt Ready Holsters. I've already talked about these holsters for the Taurus and the 1911. And this one's for the VP9, so I wanted to go over it. And uh, it's kind of the same design, uh, pretty much the same design as the one for the 1911. But what I think is neat doing these videos, when you have uh, the same company, you have multiple holsters from that company, one thing you can talk about is consistency and quality. Uh, it's one thing to talk about one one. Uh, example of a product but unless you have multiple examples of that same product in front of you you can't really talk about consistency and quality because you could have a really good example but then somebody else just gets a bad example uh, in this case um, this is uh, the outside the waistband retention holster for a vp9 uh, very much exactly like the one molded for the springfield 1911 that i have uh, still has the thumb retention active right here. Still has the retention right here molded into the trigger guard on the Kydex. Still has the adjustable retention screws right here. The closed loops, which are epic in my opinion. I love the closed loops. And um, it's molded very well. This one's for right hand carry. So this thing right here, the quality is exactly the same as the other holster that I reviewed for my 1911. As far as just retention, the quality, consistency of the Kydex, the retention strap here, everything looks good to go. I don't see any issues at all. This carries well, just like the 1911 carries well, this carries well. And uh, as I stated before, it's really important if you're going to open carry um, that you want to have an active retention or at least multiple types of retention. This here has a little bit of retention right here that uh, snaps in at the trigger guard. So the Kydex itself does its job holding the gun in, much like an inside the waistband holster Kydex does. Then it has an additional right here uh, retention with the thumb brake strap. And all it is to break the strap is as you're coming down to get a firing grip, your thumb comes over, disengages the snap, and then the gun comes right out. When you reholster this, this doesn't get into the way. You can fan it out of the way a little bit with your offhand if it is, if you deem it to be an issue, and then it just snaps right back into place. So good to go for this holster. The quality is very consistent between this and the other holsters that I've reviewed. Uh, I do plan on getting out and doing some shooting videos with these holsters, but with the ammo crisis the way it is, and now I'm in an area where it's ultra high fire danger, we have Smoke everywhere, fires everywhere, kind of looks like the apocalypse all around me. Um, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. So it is what it is. As soon as I can get out and do some stuff, I will. But I just wanted to share this with you. Check out Hunt Ready Holsters. Uh, they've got a lot of awesome stuff. Very well made. Check out their uh, website. Look at all the different offerings they have. These are great for open carry and... Um, more particularly for what I plan on using them for is for carry out in the woods. Going hiking, camping, all that good stuff. Great holster to have. Um, I typically carry rifles, but uh, it's nice to have a little backup pistol when you're out and about in the uh, wilds of the mountains where I live at. So anyway, check them out. Good quality stuff. Uh, I didn't go into too many technical details as I did on the 1911, but the biggest thing I wanted to speak to with this video is the consistency and quality that I've seen. After looking at multiple products that I've uh, from that holster manufacturer, the consistency is the same, each one. Good quality control. Uh, the Kydex is nice. The retentions are good. I'm not seeing any variance between the holsters, and to me, that's really important. So uh, check them out and provide your thoughts. If you guys have any experience with these folks, feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. And for everybody that's out in the wildfire country here, be safe. Be safe from the smoke. Be safe from the fires. Um, much kudos to the first responders dealing with the smoke and fires right now. Uh, got nothing but respect for me. All right. Thanks a lot.